Hello everyone, this is Tailspin109 and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. In the last video, we went through the Northwest Quadrant of Hyrule and was able to take care of everything there. So now we're in the Southwest Quadrant, which will have quite a bit to take care of and can get a fair bit more difficult, for sure. Now what we could do right now is actually head straight to the second dungeon, but... I find that never bodes well for me, so I like to get a lot of other stuff done first before going to the second dungeon. First thing we're going to do is explore these neck of the woods coming up to meet a guy named Bagu. You're told by one townsperson in the game about him, but we're going to need his assistance. Ah. No. Oh well, let's just kill these guys for experience and to avoid getting seriously hurt. I don't think you're ever actually told where Bagu is, just that you need his assistance. But he is within these woods, which has some enemy squares to deal with. But Bagu is right here. Let's go and talk to him. Bagu is my name. Show my note to Riverman. Uh, they're not the best English there, but whatever. They have a very small s screen to put text in. Guess I gotta give them some slack. Anyways, we're now going to head to the third town in the game. After I get past these annoying hoppers. Ooh, my head's itchy. There we go. And there's two bridges here. I'd say the one over here is generally better to take because there are not enemies that will take away your experience points on this bridge. I don't like enemies that take away my experience, so I'd rather go this way. Over there is just a fairy. I don't need to deal with a fairy right now, so let's just get going. R just run across. Ooh, careful. How do you do? We- ooh. Ah! Go away! All right there, see, that's actually a simple bridge. And we can go into this forest to get some well-deserved experience. Only a hundred, but still, gets us on our way to another level up, and we definitely want to get level ups. Because I tend to do something crazy. Instead of going to the second dungeon, I go to a hard part of the game first, just because I fare better this way. I don't know why. This is the town of Saria. And also, uh, be careful, because eyes of Ganon are everywhere! Be careful! Some townspeople can turn into bats in this place. I think mostly if they're dressed in purple. Um, she is the quest lady. She lost her mirror. And this is a bit of a cryptic quest, but... Stab under the table. I found a mirror under the table! Link talks, people! He actually did talk a little bit in the NES games. Boy, this is really expensive, and now I found a mirror under the table. Hi. Oh! You found my mirror! Follow me! This is definitely a quest you want to get done, because this is such a useful spell, and it can make the game so much easier. I'm not joking. So much easier. Use this magic to restore your life. This is the life spell. It's very expensive. But what it does is, it will restore three bars of life. As you can imagine, that is incredibly useful. But we can only use it so many times, unfortunately. But this is such a handy spell. You always want this spell. Because even though you can't use it much, it can be the difference between life and death. We'll actually use it here. Because we can get our magic restored here without searching for the... Oh, that girl who would refill our life. It's faster this way. Anyways, here's Riverman. <coughs> you know Bagu? Then I can help you cross. Cool. <coughs> cutscene. Kinda. It's kind of a cutscene. Cutscenes are cool. Especially in older games, I don't know. 
big cutscenes in older games, like on the TurboGrafx CD and such, are just so charming. A feeling that can't be replicated in modern games. Anyways, now we're in Death Mountain, which is a labyrinth of paths to take. I'm going to go the way that is the right way to go. And we're going to get some experience along the way. Oh shoot, he hit me. Well darn it. Now I don't have sword beams, and sword beams can be pretty useful. There's a lot of enemies we have to deal with here. So we're going to go this way. There's going to be a lot of going to the right. Let's kill some Octoroks with our... Ooh! Thank you! Now I can upgrade my sword! I think I can kill these guys in a hit now. Ba -da -bun -da 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 -da. I love the Dragon Quest level up tune. Whenever I get level ups and stuff, I always like to think back to Dragon Quest. But I'm dun 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 dun. I think my favorite version of the tune is actually in the first game for the NES. It sounds simple, but I just like the way it sounds a lot. I love Dragon Quest games. I just generally don't LP them because, well, they're RPGs and there's a lot of cutting to do due to, like, grinding and such. Not to mention a lot of random encounters. I'd have to make longer videos if I ever wanted to do that. I've done a randomizer once before, but it was kind of choppy because of my laptop. I have a much... Oh, hold it! We must kill this guy... Because he gives a lot of experience, although he can hurt a lot. And there's a certain timing you gotta get down so that you can keep hitting him while avoiding his axe. Or, you know, you could just fight him in a spot like this. There we go, 70 experience a pop. It's a good deal. Alright, and now we go this way. There's a lot of paths, I know, but just follow along and you'll be able to make it through yourself. Won't be able to get that magic, I think. Not without a downward thrust, which we don't have yet. Come here! Thank you. Okay! Moving onward. Yeah, you go right a lot. Oh, this is great. These are enemies that can steal your experience if they touch you. And sometimes they just, when they jump out, it just goes right in your face. And they only give you three experience points, so they're not worth fighting. We're actually getting pretty close to the end of the Labyrinth of Caves, actually. Cool, look at that. Ooh, this is a much tougher guy. Um, might be easier to find him here. He is worth fighting though, because he does give 100 experience, and with enough practice, you'll eventually find a way to more effectively deal with them. But I'm gonna cast a shield spell anyway, because he does hurt a lot. But 100 experience is nothing to sneeze at. Very worthwhile. I used every single spell at my disposal here. <laughs> Alright. It's straightforward from here on. Ow. Uh, let's cast a life spell. I cannot cast a life spell! I didn't think the Garaya would actually get me. I'm sad. Alright there. The bat just made things worse. Um, I don't know. Actually, I do know now. I am not dying this far in. Hey, I wouldn't mind if you could drop some magic. Thank you. There. Don't worry, we'll be reaching a red jar very soon. Whew! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play extra careful with these guys. Well, I mean, yeah, magic is nice and all, but... I did want the experience more. You know, level ups and such. Alright. There is 
a jar of red magic in here. And I got hit, of course. I'm afraid that bot is going to jump. Oh yeah, these slimes are generally called bots and bits, I believe. It's a weird name, but I guess it's another technical reference. You know, bots and bits in consoles. Alright, here we are. This is where we've been trying to get to. Oh, and it starts with one of these guys. What fun. Oh gosh, um... This isn't going well. Whew! There! Now give me a level up. You know what? No. I want to level up life. There. See, now I can make the decision, and honestly, that's going to benefit me a lot more, because I was almost dead. Now I just work up to level up my magic next time. Alright. There we go. Ooh, thanks! Hmm. I'm not being careful enough with those guys, are Ty? Um, why not? There we go. Oh my gosh, another one? I should play this extra careful. Oh, that wasn't good. I'm being extra careful this time since I do only have one life, and I don't want to lose it here. I'm even being more careful here. I usually just jump across these gaps, but now I'm worried I'll just panic and make a mistake. So I'm just going to take this extra slow, because if I die, I have to get all the way back here. Okay, cast the shield spell here. There is another one. These guys coming up. And this one I think I'd prefer to just jump past. There. Got the hammer. This is what I've been trying to get here. Jump over this guy. And try and jump over all of his axes. There's still one more item I want to get while I'm here in Death Mountain. But I should be okay now because I dealt with all the other guys along the way. Which means all I have to do is try not to fall in the lava here. Still very stressful. There we go. I'm s I'm gonna be okay. Not going to try and jinx it though. I'm still gonna take my time in this room. Okay, there. The worst is over. Oh, I feel a little shaken. Ugh. All right, but I made it. Yeah, Death Mountain is generally considered one of the most difficult parts of the game. But I showed you a way to get through. Ow. You're not gonna be the one to kill me. <laughs> Nor are you. There. I'm okay. Alright, so now we can actually use this... Demonstrate this hammer on this rock. You press the A button in the overworld to use it. And we get our second magic container here. So there we go. We did it! Death Mountain is complete! Now we gotta get out. Which, thankfully, there is a shortcut out this way. There's nothing else to find here, though, so just focus on getting out. Um, sure, I'll take. And we just got some Octoroks to deal with. Well, now. At the very least, I got the hammer, so I can actually shortcut my way out to the southeast. I'm okay with dying there. It's not too big a cost. 
But yeah, now we can just use this hammer here to just skip right by. And we'll actually go into this cave right now. Here we go. There's good stuff we can get now. Ow. There we go. And now if we go in here, we'll be able to get our prize. And the prize is the second heart container! Yay! There's generally one magic and one heart container in each quadrant of Hyrule. Essentially, two on each half of the world, west and east, respectively. So now we've gotten the magic and heart containers. There's still plenty more to do, though, so let's go ahead and get everything else there is to get. We can go in here... and suffer from more obnoxious enemies. Here's a Garaya again. This is of the weaker variety. You can tell because he was of an orange color. Eh, why not? There we go! And now since we can carry more magic, we'll be able to use our magic more frequently. And here's a points bag with 200 points. That's good! We're well on our way. To getting stronger. Jump and jumpy jumper jumper woo! That's from Battle for Bikini Bottom, I believe. I delete those videos due to Kappa, right? Huh, I'm about to do that again as well. There's a lot I gotta do. Alright. Well, let's keep on moving. There's another cave we can go into now that we weren't able to before because there was a rock. Down this way, by the swamp. Well, I don't need that anymore. There's the rock. There's also another secret right near it. It's actually a Link doll which functions as an extra life. Which sounds cool, but only pick it up when you're later in the game because... You can only pick it up one time. After that, it never appears again. I don't like these guys. I think I made that clear by now. They steal your experience, therefore I hate them. But anyways, in here is actually a quest item. And yeah, these guys are here since you can't even get in here without the hammer from Death Mountain. Ooh, a uh, shield. I do want to kill you. Because you'll give a lot of experience as long as you don't drop magic. Do not drop magic. Thank you. Another one! Whoa. And yeah, we, we should deal with this guy, otherwise he might throw an axe as we try and get past the lava bed. There we go. Medicine! This is the quest item for the fourth spell in the game. We're getting a lot done today, aren't we? Link is a busy fellow. Just like me! We're all busy nowadays, aren't we? But if Link can get through a busy day, well, so can I. But I don't want it to involve these guys because they steal experience. There's one up right here. I don't want to pick it up because I don't need it right now. It's much better to save that for a later portion of the game. Specifically trying to get to the final dungeon, I'd say, because getting to the final dungeon is hard. It's definitely hard. Eh, I'll take. Alright, why don't we head over to the fourth town? That sounds like a good idea. We've been just about everywhere by now. Alright, let's go! The fourth town is right here! This is the town of Mido. Yeah, great. Why did we have to name a town after that guy? Anyways, let me get some health. I guess I can't get any magic right now. Anyways, aside from the spell, there is another item to be on the lookout for here. Um, use the jump spell to get up to the top of this church. It is definitely a church. It doesn't look like they really did a good job at censoring that cross. And talk to this guy. When you jump, press downward to stab. Yeah, we just got the downward stab. It's one of the best things in this entire game. 
And this is the reason I do all this stuff before going to the second dungeon, because I've never been able to efficiently beat the boss of the dungeon without this downward stab. Uh, restore my magic, please? There we go. And while we're here, let's get the spell. The water of life! Quick, come with me! Supposedly he had a sick child in here, but where is the child? Maybe it was for himself, but he was too embarrassed to ask for it for himself. I don't know. Hi. This magic wand will give you power. And look at that, the fairy spell. Now, when I first played this, I thought the fairy spell would make a fairy appear so that you could get to full health. But no, it, it actually turns you into a fairy. It has its uses. It can be used where the jump spell won't help. The thing is, as a fairy, you're defenseless, so... Not always a good idea to spam it. Well, anyways... That's about it for now. In the next video, we've got some dungeons to go through. Until then, though, this has been Tailspin109, and have a nice day.